Omar. The director of the school. Direct, director of the school. Yeah. Uh -huh. And how many students are in the school here in Kanungu? We have uh, 2,285. 2,285. And uh, for what grades? Up to, from uh, first class up to grade uh, six. How many teachers do you have here? 27. 27. And the schools were built last August. Last August, last uh, July. Last July. What are some of the challenges uh, you face teaching students in a refugee camp as opposed to back in Sudan? Skills that how to organize the, uh, the students firstly. Yeah. Because they have no any documents, they have no any papers mm. that showing that they are in which class. Also the material firstly, the difficult and the challenge which I find firstly that a material and the classes also. Uh -huh. Is it? And he says that maybe we, they have some a different kind of living because now they are uh, sitting in the ground without mats, without any, without chairs or yes, without seats. And it's a different. Uh, maybe they say that they say that there is a different uh, kind of life in America and here in the country. Do you find that uh, learning in the refugee camps is more difficult for children, easier, the same? Not the same. Because there is some effect of, of war for the, for the children here. How, how has that affected them? I mean that they have some feelings. Some of them have separated their losses, their fathers and mothers, or their parents. Mm -hmm. And that makes it hard to learn. Also, hard the, to... And the understanding for the, I mean, that the understanding of the loss was difficult for them. Yeah. Some of them are thinking about yeah. what uh, the, the countries or the, the loss uh, mothers and fathers. Yeah. Uh. Could some of them tell us uh, what they would like to be if they could continue studying? What would they like to be when they are older men and women? Mm. Yes, there is different ideas. Someone says that he will be a president, is that a leader? Oh, a president. Leader. Ah, right. Right. And someone says uh, a doctor. A doctor. And another says that he's a teacher. 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 And different guy. Okay. No? Can you tell them how they do it? Okay. One other thing, they're each going to get a notebook and a pen, and each time they record and stop, can they just write one word to describe what they film? So if they film their home, you know, when they stop, you write home. And then if they filmed uh, a friend, then write friend. So just one word to describe what they just filmed each time they stop. I Good. It was good. Yeah. yeah. Do, do they like being uh, journalists? They uh, become journalists today for a few minutes. <laughs> Very good.
How many of you know where Uganda is? Yeah, like south, south. Uh, oh, they, yeah, they know. Mm. Yes, yeah, uh, Uganda is right south of uh, Sudan. Where over there, there is war going on right now, and uh, many children are suffering because of the war. Mm. There is a group of children in a town close to a town called Gulu, Uganda, mm. that uh, to uh, run away from the war mm. so that they are not uh, turned into child soldiers. They have to go into the big town Gulu every night to stay and be safe. So every night they walk many kilom kilometers mm. to go into the safety of the town. On foot. On foot. Mm. And, and uh, they were told about what happened in Darfur. Mm. So the, the children, uh, a group of children from Gulu were told about the story of what happened in Darfur and about the war there. Mm. And those children wanted to send a gift to children here in, that are from Darfur. Oh. And they decided to do it with art. Um. So you want to tell them, that tell them that they, they, the gift they are sending is a, a gift, a message of peace mm. that they did through art. Okay, that is the cadeau envoyé. That is a message of peace that they have envoyé de là-bas. Because they are living in the same situation. These are called uh, peace tiles. Okay. And on the back, there's a picture of the young person that did it. Because they want peace for your land also. Okay. Thank you.